So uh, this movement here that Kyle's showing us, um, I've seen this machine before at the gym, I've never liked it. Um, mainly because I've never felt the squeeze. The way Danielle is doing it right now is it's that half rep to the top, um, as opposed to what I would typically be more comfortable with, uh, which is like more of like from the bottom to middle point versus the middle to top point. Um, and and the, the way to feel the squeeze here is actually by trying to drive your elbows together, which then forces you to lock out at the top, which is also something I was always very against. Um, but learning to use this machine the right way, again, this is one of those situations where the weight is irrelevant. Uh, it's more about the squeeze and the pump in the right form. When I was sleeping on the train, sleeping on the road, out on the rain. Oh, yeah. now, I the single slice of pizza to my name. Too proud to beg for change. So uh, I really feel the squeeze when I try and drive my elbows together at the top like this. I feel the squeeze mostly with my inner chest. Get dizzy spells, hear a little ring. The voice of an angel telling me my name. So as Gabe was saying, we're using this machine. I wasn't always a fan favorite of it, but uh, today we're at a gym where we don't have the best equipment, I guess you could say. Um, so we're going to make the most of this machine. Um, by making the most of any machine, it's always about hand placement and um, your mental thought process with the machine. If you're not feeling something, an exercise, don't make yourself do it, you know, move on. However, in this case, um, because of the press, we want to start with being more safe. We don't want to do barbells today. Because I have achy joints, and people, as you get older, just can't do those top down movements. So the force use machines, and this machine is actually a pretty good machine. Um, it allows you to adjust the height of the seat, which therefore is moving the handle position in the upper or lower chest. We're doing a little bit more of a lower chest, with more of a decline movement. And then you can also move your hands closer or, or out more wider of the grip. So it's really. It gives you a lot of um, customization for the individual, depending on their height, their size, whatever works for them. And, you know, today I need a little bit of a closer grip, other days I'll be a little bit wider, and this machine allows me to do so, which is cool. <laughs> Kill a nigga, rob a nigga, take a nigga, bust up. That's why when you talk that tough talk, I never feel you. You sound real good. Go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. Mama. One more. Go. 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 Danielle's been on the booty shorts today, as always. <laughs> Come on, you're right. You said. <laughs> Those don't ride up at all. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Okay. That's my voice. My Uzi still weigh a ton, check the barometer I'm hotter than the motherfucking sun, check the thermometer I'm bringing ancient mathematics back to modern man My mama told me never throw a stone and hide your hand I got a lot of family, you got a lot of fans That's why the people got my back like the Verizon man I play the back and fade the black and then devise a plan Out in London, smoking, vibing while I ride the tram Talk to me, Daniel Hey Hey Tell me about that. That's good. I know what to say. This is a good talk. It's a fabulous talk. It's a fabulous talk. You've you said so much. Yeah. It's not a breath right now. It's a show. Things we do without even trying. Uh, this movement that we're doing here, uh, so basically this machine is in intended for flat, so it would be like a flat hammer strength or hammer press machine, but what we're doing here is we lower the seat a lot more so that the, uh, the handle comes more to the inside of your armpit. We've, uh, we have our seats, our, our butts completely like far, so as to the seat as possible. So that you're leaning back, so that the only thing touching the actual back of the seat is your traps. Um, your shoulders should be pinned back in this movement, and what that does is it targets the upper part of the chest or the pectoral major a lot more efficiently. Um, even though it's a flat machine, we've done these little bit of adjustments to make it target our upper chest. That's what we always try and target when we do chest. So, like I said, shoulders pinned back, but it's all 
the way out. Hand positioning, as you can see, comes right into my armpit where the handle edges. Squeezing at the top of my chest. Positions from middle to top. If you're not actually feeling the squeeze, what you should do is pause right here at the bottom, just to the point where you feel the pressure, then start again, and squeeze. We focus on doing this movement light, so that we can focus on the squeeze. We're gonna do um, a dumbbell press with a slight variation, so it's not incline. It's not exactly flat either, it's just like one notch up, depending on what bench you have available at your gym. Just to target a little bit more again. Somewhat of the upper chest, a lot of people lack it. I certainly do. Um, we'll go from there, see how it feels. We don't like it, we'll move on. Think I am nothing. I am. Uh, when I try and do this movement, I try to almost do like a a press fly almost, so it's almost come down like as if I'm doing a fly, just not as wide, and then squeeze and press together to feel that squeeze from the outside to the inside of my chest. Like to really feel that stretch at the bottom here for a minute, and then the squeeze at the top.
you recording? Yes! Oh, oh. So we're going to finish our workout using the fat test, but instead of sitting in the machine, which the machine is intended to do, so we're going to use the machine a little bit and do a little, kind of a little more instinctively. So we're going to take the piece of equipment, we're going to stand out here. The arms on this machine, this is a light fitness machine, and a lot of the gyms have this machine. Um, they swing a little bit, so they stand outside, and the machine is just going to squeeze. It's a very simple movement, and it's just a good finisher usually, rather than using cables, it's very big cables. And I can just squeeze as hard as I can because the arms aren't going to go anywhere. I don't have to really control the arms, I'll let it go to the So basically, like with most other workouts, your force is stabilized, and with this, you're not having to stabilize, it's just for a pump and a squeeze because we're, we're gassed. It's high at the end of the workout. But you still want to make sure you get a good pump, and you want to try to complete that pump. You have the most time under tension as you can. I feel mostly in the inner chest. Um, I feel like it's a weak, weak point for people. It's like the inner chest. That's where mainly where I feel. Want to do this? Danielle really doesn't need to do this movement because she doesn't need to really work on her inner chest. She's got boobs to fill that area out. <laughs> That's a lot of <laughs> The trick to that that I realized as I was doing is having them pinned all the way in the outward position. They still have that little bit of a swing point. It seems like it's like you're trying to focus too much on trying to like stop where it's swinging. Um, so if you just pull them all the way out, kind of lean, that, lean back how pile is, it's the way to get the best squeeze. Yeah, I noticed that when I was at the end. Yeah. Actually, that's why I use warm-up sets a lot to figure out what, what I really like and what I don't like. 